Hello, I am Luca, and welcome to this very special DGS Action News. I'm Brogan. That's right. On this broadcast, we will be introducing our next president. Hold on. I'm being told we have an announcement from the Four Seasons Hotel in Philadelphia. Wait, what? Four Seasons Total Landscaping? Just cut to the clip. Hello and welcome to the Four Seasons Total Landscaping, where you can get all of your landscaping needs taken care of. Trimming, hedging, mowing, fertilization, and blowing out those sprinklers. I'm here to tell you that the next president of... Actually, we're here to talk about the Identity, Community, and Justice Project, an incredibly important piece of work that students are doing in social studies and science classes so that we can learn more about ourselves as students, as a school community, and to create an inclusive environment. Take it away, students. With the Identity, Community, and Justice Project, we're really focusing on who we are and learning about ourselves. And we're doing this to, because we want to understand who we are so we can understand others and create a friendly environment for everyone. I feel like Identity, Community, and Justice class is um, teaching us about how to be nice to each other and look on the inside. Over the past few weeks, sixth graders and seventh graders in their science and social studies classes have been unpacking what identity means. And through that unpacking, we've been learning about what makes up an individual's identity. And that is both visible and invisible characteristics. And as humans on this planet, it's really important that when we're learning about each other, that we really invest that time in one another rather than just making assumptions about an individual's identity. Um, and so throughout the next few weeks, sixth graders and seventh graders are embarking on an identity map project. And what they're going to do is use paper, um, art supplies, uh, Google Draw, or Canva, a digital online poster making um, platform to create their identity map and students get choice over how they want to do that and show up in a way that makes the most sense for them and then over the next few weeks as we've uh, as we work on these maps we'll also be sharing um, in small groups using certain protocols to start noticing and unpacking what do we have in common with our classmates what do we have that makes us unique or different um, so that we can build a stronger community here at DGS and we can't wait um, to put these thoughts and these ideas together by students into our final mural ideas at the end of the semester. In Identity Justice Against Community class, this last week on Friday we were talking about um, the presidential debate and how we felt we could also um, you could also discuss and learn a little bit more about what's going on and discuss your feelings of how what you think and what's going on around in the uh, presidential debate in the GSA class. In Ms. Deliza's Identity, Community, and Justice class, we uh, were working on, well, she was showing us different headlines, and then we would discuss uh, how those headlines personally affected us or how those headlines made us feel personally. And then I think it's important to uh, have this class because especially during these times of isolation and for those new sixth graders or new seventh graders to our school, it's an opportunity to meet new people and more at new people and just experience more within the DGS community. <laughs> Yeah, they're locked. They're lockers. That's what they're supposed to do, dude. 